Hey guys, welcome back to another mukbang. Today I'm having, well I'm going to say my grace first because I have to explain these. So, without further ado. Amen. Okay. Of course, you know these are tater tots. These are the bread rolls that I normally make um, and the chicken mixture that I use in the bread rolls, which is um, cut up chicken, like shredded chicken, canned chicken, whatever kind of chicken you want to use, onions, mozzarella, sharp, mozzarella and sharp cheese, and black pepper. And I just roll them up into a ball, the mixture up into a ball. And I dipped it into flour. Then I dipped it into a egg wash. Then I dipped it into the Italian breadcrumbs and I fried it up. This is the first time I'm eating these. I don't know how they taste, but I know they're going to taste good because the bread rolls are really good. This is just something that I, this is actually something I thought of myself. This is with my own creation. Normally, I make things of what I see somebody else may have done on YouTube or Pinterest, but I just thought that um, instead of doing the bread rolls today, that this these would be pretty good. So, if you haven't seen my bread rolls video, you need to go watch the bread rolls video with the um, chicken mixture, and then you'll know what what's inside of these. And then I've also did... Um, Two videos now, because by the time you see this, the second video would be out of the shepherd meatballs. And what I use for the shepherd meatballs, the uh, I use the egg mixture, the flour, and the Italian breadcrumbs for those. So it's like um, what I use for the bread rolls and what I use for the shepherd meatballs is a mixture in it. So anyway, guys, excuse me, I <laughs> hit my camera. So I'm going to taste this because I haven't tasted it before. Not just cooked this way. Of course they're good. I'm going to see that chicken in there. But as I stated, it's the same mixture I use for the bread rolls when I do the bread rolls with the chicken. Because I've fixed bread rolls two different ways. I use the steak and cheese, the steak and the chick, the chicken steak, beef steak, cheese and cheese, and the chicken mixture. Again, you can see the chicken mixture on my video of the bread rolls. And I have my sauce. I hear it's a challenge to go on, um, called the No Wipe Challenge. Someone asked me was I going to do it. No, Stephanie asked me was I going to do it. And, um, guys, I'm a person that has to wipe. I have to wipe my mouth. I have to wipe my hands. And I know it might sound easy uh, to not wipe, but for people who are used to doing stuff, it's not easy for like anything whatever you're used to doing if you got a child doing or not doing something that you're used to doing it's going to be hard so i'm not going to do the challenge today but it's just because you really don't have to wipe it eat this it's not really messy so i think i'm going to do the no wipe challenge and trust me it's going to be a challenge for me Mm -hmm. How many is that? I made mm -hmm. mm -hmm. eight. And I just ate one. Okay, yeah. I just used the rest of the um, chicken mixture up. I wanted to use it up. Because it's been in the refrigerator for a few days. So that's what made me think to do this. Number one is cooking and doing the bread rolls, too. I 
Uh, I have something that I don't normally do on camera. What I'm going to do. I'm going to have a drink today. It's really close to the holidays. Thanksgiving is what? Three days away. And when I'm drinking it's tequila and Everfresh lime juice. It is so good. This is one of them kind of drinks that you drink that will sneak up on you because you just drink it like it's juice or something like that. Next thing you know, you tow up. So I'm doing a, I have a toast going to my late hubby, Jesse. He's no longer here with us. So, and also his favorite football team. I guess you can see it. I don't want to drop my glass. There it is. His favorite football team is the Redskins. So it's an honor to be you, Jesse Bob. I'm already ready to wipe my hand <laughs> and my mouth. It's a happy child. I'm, I don't know. I don't really feel like cooking. This will be, um, well, yeah, this, this will be the very first year that I have not cooked a big Thanksgiving dinner. I'm going to cook a little something. Um, I have a nice size chicken, um, turkey breast in there, nice size. So I think I'm going to cook that turkey breast. I'm going to do some barbecue ribs, some mac and cheese, some stuffings, some rice, some greens. And that's it. And maybe better cake. I don't know if I'm going to do that. There's no one here but me and Muck. Muck don't eat a lot. I eat twice a day. But I don't like my food and stuff going bad. Well, I know I've been here eating all that stuff up. So, I'm not going to cook a whole bunch of stuff. And for the things that I want, like, I want some potato salad. Because I like stuffing and tater potato salad together. So. This should have went up higher. I'm looking for something, y'all. But yeah, I like, um... Stuffing the potato salad together. together. I just don't feel like putting the potato salad. Let's see if I put this under there. Okay. For me, things are always pretty quiet. I've always been somewhat of a loner. And by myself, like to be by myself.
I mean, like, besides my significant other, I agree with my significant other. And my children, but they're grown now. Um, two moved out, and the other, he's at work all day. My life is peaceful. I live a really peaceful life this way. I mean, I've never had a lot of drama in my life. I've had drama or was around drama. Not necessarily my drama. Quickly remove myself away from it. But I haven't never really been real sociable. I'm like more sociable now than I've ever been in my entire life. I really am. because just growing up and seeing all the stuff that take place took place and still taking place with people they're good one minute happy one minute cool with each other one minute next minute they're total enemies and hating each other and talking about each other real bad and all that stuff I've never been able to deal with that kind of stuff I mean, you can't stop it because it's everywhere, but it's up to you to deal with them, be a part of it or not. I'm very family oriented. Always have been. And every time I finally got together, we all had to We always had a ball. Now I can't say, out of all the events I used to give up my house, the yeah, we used to give up my house, my, my husband when he was 11, all the events we used to give, and it was always my idea mainly because I always try to keep my family together. And it wasn't because I felt like we were separate and stuff. It's just as you get older, you do your own thing. You live your life. You have kids. You have your partner or your spouse. And you do your own thing. And you don't have time to do the things you used to do, like hang out with your sisters and brothers and stuff. Because when you're growing up, you're growing up in the same household. You know, you're fussing, you're this, you're that, you're that. But you're seeing each other every single day because you're brothers and sisters. But when you get older and people start moving out, you know, you get your own. Um, our rock that held us together and close. And most of us, our rock was our mom. I'm not going to exclude fathers because dads are some rocks in some families too. I know that. I very well know that. But I know for a fact that in my family and in my husband's family that our moms were the rocks of our families that held everything together. I know that. So when, when they're gone, it's like we all go out and separate and do us and live our lives or whatever. I'm not saying we don't want to be bogged or whatever, but it's just what happens. So, 
And when we got our house, I just said, oh, you know what? I'm going to start having cookouts and things, you know. And I tell them family oriented. So I would you know, call my sisters and them, you know, and tell them to come over. Everybody got so used to it, it started being like something was going on regularly. Like, you know, right now in the day, I haven't done one in so long. I moved out of my house the same year my husband passed in 2015 and sold it. And we stopped doing cook-offs before we even, you know, before everything took place. But right now in the day, I still got asked when you're going to do another cook-off. And right now I'm in a condo and I do have a backyard, I have a patio, and I do have a front terrace out front where I can sit out front or back, but this is not a big place, and this is not a place where I would want a whole bunch of people coming and running back and forth through the house. I wouldn't, because it's not enough room. And, um, so, it's not an entertaining spot. It is for, like, a, um, a couple or a couple of people. But then when you do that... And others hear about it, then they want to know why they wasn't invited. Although that kind of stuff I don't care about. But that's what stuff turned into. It's nothing big, but it can be turned into something big. But um, I'll do things as I want to. That's me. Uh... I used to um, do the cookouts and things. We used to. He used to love the grill. He was a grill master. He used to love the grill. And cook on the grill. Even when we go away from home, like my family would do something, we'd get invited, and he'd be on the grill there, too. And as my oldest son, Monte, got older, it was past the, what the, what you call it? The apron, I guess. It was passed over to him. So... Jesse got to sit back and just enjoy himself, eat or whatever. It took him a minute to pass that apron over to Monte because he loved the grill so much. He didn't want nobody, you know, outdoing him or whatever. But eventually, he realized that it's time to throw it in. And he did. So Monte took over. So Monte is really good on the grill now. I mean, he's really good. So, Yeah. I can remember all these fun times, but mm, family is really important for those who pick a ring and listen out or whatever. Family is really important because there's nothing like not being able to say something that you feel like you should have said to someone when they're gone. I mean, you can be married to them for years, but the minute they're not here no more, you're hurting really bad. You're hurting more than anybody else because you're the two that didn't um, communicate. And you don't get a chance. You get, you don't get a chance to say it. You get a chance, cause you can still say it, even though they're not here anymore. But us in the living world and them not, most living people are gonna feel like it's too late. I can't say what I wanted to say. You can still say it. I think you can still say it, but it's foolish. I have people in my family I don't deal with that I totally, completely cut off. I really have, but. I'm not mad at them. I don't hate them and I don't dislike them. These are just people that don't bring nothing fulfilling to my life. You know, no happiness, no nothing. So if if I'm not being feeling like I'm being fulfilled and, and, and feeling happy and joyous and joyful when who these people are around I have to erase them and cut them out of my life. I, I talk to the Lord about it because he's the only person I need, the only, only being I need to talk to about it. Nobody else. I talk to the Lord about it and I turn it over and then I move on with my life and I'm happy and at peace. So if something should happen to that person, I'm not going to feel like we, and I, we wasn't even speaking or whatever. No. If we're not speaking, it's not because of something I did. It's because of something you did. And it's because it's just no happiness that you bring into my life and into my circle. So I don't think I need to be bothered. And the same with anybody with me. If you feel that way about me, 
Like, I don't bring no joy, no peace, or no, or whatever. Or, or I'm always doing something, confrontation, or whatever you want to call it, or whatever. Same here. It don't mean that I don't love them. I love them to the bottom of my core. Why just can't be bothered? And I'd rather just erase because it doesn't do any good for me not to. It bothers me, put it that way. Um, now I think it's a difference than um, sitting around talking about people real bad, like a dog and all that, or black people say like a dog, and putting them down real bad and things like that. There's really no need for that. If you don't fool with somebody, you don't fool with them. That's it. Not be family or otherwise. It's just always a way to do things. It's a way to do every single thing. And do I have the answer for everything? No. Do I have the right way for everything? No. I got my way that I do things. And my way is the right way for me. For me. I ain't saying for everybody else. I'm saying for me. The people, the ones who don't allow themselves to get to know me do not know how big of a heart I have. They have no idea. They see the outer shell and judge. And I'm cool with that too. I will say this. I am the kind of person that don't really care about a lot of stuff or too, too many things. I really don't. I never have and I probably never will. But what I care about, I care about. Who I care about, I care about. I really do. If I care about you, I really care about you. If I love you, I really love you. If I don't care about you, I really don't care about you. That's just the kind of person I am. I don't like foolishness. I don't like drama. I like these. I need to try to make them. Like I said, Thanksgiving is three days away. I don't even know if I'm gonna spend it by myself or if I'm gonna go out. I don't know what I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this video off because I'm trying not to make my videos long now. I need to make them kind of a little more shorter. I've done enough longer ones where I'm actually getting a lot further in YouTube really fast. It's way faster than I expected. So I'm making changes as I go because things are just happening really fast. So, And I'm thanking those too. Those of you that watch my videos, I, I thank you and I appreciate you guys so much because that's where it's coming from. But there's so many other people. I'm having people subscribing now. This is a lot going on. My life really is about to change, guys. And it's about to change for the better. It's about to change. It really is. And I know I just moved here. But in another probably two or three years, I'll probably be moving again. Just a little further out. And um, I'll elaborate on that at another time. Just know that things are working really well for me. And I'm very pleased and happy. And I thank you all, okay? Just know that. So, again, I'm going to take one more step. Okay, guys. So, thanks again for watching and coming to another video. I'm four now. And I'm um, going to ask that you, if you are not already, that you subscribe, like, comment, and share. And click the bell at the bottom and click all. That'll notify you every time I upload a video. I ask that you watch it and watch it in full. So again, happy holidays too. We got Thanksgiving coming. So happy Thanksgiving to you all. And happy holidays to you all. So, this is the V. Which is me. And I am signing up. Thanks again for watching guys. And I'll see you on the next one.